past few years, McDonald's has forced their way into the collaboration game, marking a first for a fast food restaurant and artist, and now with Cactus Plant Flea Market streetwear brands. It all started with Travis Scott and branched out to others. And not only do Mickey D's show no signs of slowing, but could they now be branching out to fashion brands? I'm Nate the Great from TakeFlight214.com, and in today's video, we'll list all of the McDonald's collabs and discuss a little bit about how much artists are making off of these deals. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button. The channel has been doing much better lately, and I can't thank you guys enough. But if you want to see us continue to grow, then liking and sharing the video is the best way to help us out. But with that being said, let's jump right in. Just when you thought that the fast food big name partnerships had reached a peak, McDonald's comes back again, and this time, linking with Cynthia Lou's Cactus Plant Flea Market brand. And whereas the other artist combo is offered different food pairings, and in Sweetie's case, even her own special sauce, but this time around, they went in a different direction with the adult Happy Meal, complete with the toy. All collectible if you want to be a snob about it. Cactus Plant Flea Market's special McDonald's menu includes your choice of a Big Mac or a 10-piece chicken McNugget meal, which includes a drink and fries. All packaged inside a limited edition collective box, which will probably be resold at markup online later. <laughs> the box, that is, not the food. Even though, if you've seen those videos floating around about how McDonald's food never goes bad, then the food will probably survive long enough to be resold on a secondary market, but <laughs> I digress. And just like any kid-friendly Happy Meal, Cactus Plant Flea Market's adult version naturally comes along with four collectible toys. You have a choice between three Mickey D's favorites and Grimace, the Hamburglar, and Birdie and are joined by Cactus Plant's Cactus Buddy. Now say you have a choice, but you really don't because it's kind of like the luck of the draw. And you got some guys going around buying tons of these meals in hopes of trying to collect all four of them. But I mean, hey, I hope they're not eating it because that's a lot of McDonald's. <laughs> and if you've seen that documentary about the guy who ate nothing but McDonald's for a series of months, it didn't turn out too good for him, so <laughs> I wouldn't advise that. Fans who purchased the Cactus Plant flea market box on the McDonald's app will automatically end it for a chance to score exclusive merch for free every week, including custom Cactus Plant flea market by McDonald's items like t-shirts, a Grimace chair, and more. Merch was also made available exclusively on the CPFMCDonald's.com site on October 3rd at 11 a.m. The collection was only available for a limited time window. It's really no surprise that artists and designers are willing to partner with McDonald's considering they're a global company. But exactly how much are they making off doing business with the most popular fast food joint ever? I stated before that the entire trend started with the Travis Scott collab, but actually, Travis wasn't the first overall collab for the brand with the Golden Arches. It was in fact, Michael Jordan. In 1992, the NBA legend Michael Jordan became the first celebrity to have a McDonald's meal created in his honor. Called the McJordan Special, the value meal consisted of a quarter pounder with bacon and barbecue sauce, plus fries and a soda. The meal was also only available in the Chicago area McDonald's franchises for a limited time, making it hard for most Americans to get their hands on one. In fact, according to ESPN, it was so exclusive that an old empty bottle of special barbecue sauce used to make the burger sold on eBay for close to $10,000 in 2012. It was unreported how much MJ made on the deal, but it was a wild success. So much so that McDonald's took the idea and put it in their back pocket, ready to bring it out again later. Travis Scott would later on have his own burger named in his honor, the Travis Scott Burger, in September of 2020. A quarter pounder topped with two slices of cheese and applewood smoked bacon. And at the time, it was unheard of. A fast food restaurant collaborating with a rapper? It was new, it was innovative, and it was wildly successful for both parties involved. According to Forbes, the burger and the value meal was so popular that the fast food giant had to deal with supply shortages of quarter pounder ingredients during its promotion. All told, 
Travis made at least five million off the endorsement aspect of the deal alone. He was also estimated to have bagged another 15 million from merch sales. But speaking of merch, fun fact, the most recent collab is not the first time the McDonald's has collaborated with Cynthia Lou for merch. She actually designed some of the merch for Travis Scott's collab as well. Next up though was J Balvin. Releasing on October of 2020, the meal consisted of Balvin's favorite Mickey D's menus items, a Big Mac, fries, and an Oreo McFlurry. And though the Balvin meal wasn't as big of a smash as the Travis Scott one, it did promote McDonald's to collaborate with the singer on a line of merch that was to include a McFlurry bucket hat and a pair of Big Mac slippers. Unfortunately though, McDonald's was forced to cancel production of the items of January of 2021 due to quote, production challenges according to Business Insider. In May of 2021, McDonald's kept the trend rolling by releasing its next celebrity meal collaboration with the K-pop boy band BTS. Featuring a 10-piece McNugget, french fries, and a medium coke, the BTS meal also came with a limited-time sweet chili and Cajun sauce hand-picked by the band. Unsurprisingly, the McDonald's celebrity meals were a massive success around the world, but not everyone was happy about the endorsement deal. According to Newsweek, the Asia branch of the animal rights group PETA slammed BTS for teaming up with the fast food giant. And I don't really know why, because the meat's not real anyway. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. They call it 100% real beef now, so I'm sure they're absolutely telling the truth about that, right? Sweetie is the most recent rapper to score a major McDonald's endorsement deal. She's also the least popular of the bunch going into the thing. And I mean, I don't mean to throw shade at her, but no one to say that she's as big of a name as Michael Jordan, Travis Scott, or BTS. But nonetheless, the meal was too a success. It dropped in August 9th of 2021, along with a TV commercial and a sweepstakes, which included the opportunity for fans to win a five-day trip to Las Vegas to see Sweetie perform. In addition, fans had a chance to win a limited edition handbag from American fashion designer Brandon Blackwood. The meal itself featured a Big Mac, four-piece chicken McNugget, medium fries, a medium Sprite, a tangy barbecue sauce, and sweetie and sour sauce, which was renamed after the rapper herself. But when McDonald's teamed up with Cynthia Lou and Cactus Plant Flea Market, it marked the first time them ever teaming up with a streetwear brand. And perhaps it'll mark a new path for collaborations going forward in the years to come. The question is, are these collabs working? Well, I guess it depends on what working means to you. Has it created hype for McDonald's food? Yes, it has. Whenever they drop one of these, it sends tons of people out to scoop one of the meals up. Has it made tons of money for the artist involved? The answer to this is also yes. Travis cashed in 20 million off of the deal, and although numbers were not released for the others, I'm sure they cleaned up too. It's actually a smart idea when you think about it. I mean, even though I personally wouldn't eat McDonald's if I had been locked up in a dungeon for a month being starved, no matter who was endorsing it or what the nasty ass food came with. But millions around the world, for some reason, have chosen to eat this crap anyway. And by teaming up with popular figures, it's only managed to send even more in through the doors. I can't even really be mad at the artists for taking the money. I mean, sure, they're promoting some of the worst food on the planet, but hey, there's worse ways to make millions of dollars, I suppose. Another question is, is it corny for streetwear brands to work with a fast food restaurant and one as establishment as McDonald's for that matter? I mean, the point could be argued. But what do you think? Are you a fan of McDonald's and their artist collabs? Have you bought any of the meals? Hit us up in the comment section and let us know. Also, if you haven't by now, don't forget to smash that like button. I always say liking and sharing the video is the best way to help us to continue to grow as a channel and have millions of subscribers like some of the biggest ones out there. And if you want to be updated whenever we drop another video just like this one, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and then the notification bell to be dinged whenever a new episode drops. But with that being said, I'm Nate the Great from TakeFlight214.com signing out. Until next time, peace.